Hello, how are you, Dina? Marvin Jose. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Marvin. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. How was your weekend? Um, uh, I was studied uh, all the weekend. Wow. What did you study? I'm an architect. I am an I am study an architect. Ah, okay. And Marvin, what did you do? Make designs, draw. What What do you do? I make design um gravy program gravy. Is it's learn uh, learn learn the program. Okay. What is the name of the program, Marvin? Revi. Revi. Okay. Good. And a SketchUp. And a SketchUp. I love it. SketchUp. It, it, it's more easy. It's easier. It's easier. Thank oh, you. You're welcome. And Edith, how about you? How was your weekend, Edith? Um. Uh, I visit visit my family. I visited. I visited my family in in Tonacatepeque. I playing with my niece. Um. In Alta Vista. Um, in Tonacate, no, Tonacatepeque Centro. Ah, okay. Downtown. Yeah, downtown. Okay, good. And this on Saturday or Sunday? Um, Sunday. Mm -hmm. on, on Saturday, I, uh, I was working. I worked. I worked. Okay. I worked. Good. So in this moment, we're going to have five minutes to talk about the weekend. Like me and Edith and me and Marvin. What did you do? Where did you go? What The idea is details. Explain what, where, when, why for Saturday and Sunday. It's okay? Yes. Good. So, only five minutes. Discuss the weekend. What did you do on the weekend? More time.
Are you okay? Jose, Dulce, are you okay? Are you having problems connecting? Claudia, are you okay? Do you have problems connecting? That's it, sir. No, I'm good. Okay, let's try to put you in the group, Claudia. Laura, how are you? Laura? Laura? Okay, are we ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Let's watch the video for unit three. In this moment, we're going to begin unit three. Let's watch the introduction video. Ready to watch this new intro video? Try your best to understand what they are talking about. Good luck. Ballet to ballroom and salsa to swing. Learning to dance is one of today's hottest trends and tango dancing is the hottest of them all. Tango fever has spread all over the world. Hi, I'm Kevin Kane and once a month people come here to the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts to learn tango. Okay, what are they talking about? 
What is the topic? Learn tango, teacher. Learn tango. People learn tango. People learn tango in Massachusetts. Good. Do you know how to tango? Tango is the... Yes. I don't know. Dancing? Dance? To can Argentina? You, can you tango or no? No tango. It's for no, Carlo really. Cardeo. It's the begin, beginner for, for the tango dance in Argentina. Okay, good. Let's listen to the rest. Hi, how's your tango lesson going? Oh, it's super fun. So why did you decide to take a tango class? I was just interested in dancing. And a lot of our friends come here. What's the best way to improve your dancing? Just by going to a tango club. And by practicing hard. Too. How did you learn to dance? By coming to class. And why did you decide to take tango lessons? Because I wanted to keep fit and have fun at the same time. Well, I took some lessons and I come here to practice. So what's a good way to improve your dancing? By practicing with a guy. But you have to find a good partner. Now we're going to talk to a tango instructor, Uche. Hi. Hi. Why do you think tango is so popular? I think tango is popular because it's very exotic and it's also very challenging for people. And once people learn something that they find challenging and it's very exotic, I think they feel very rewarded. Step six, back, collect, seven, and then instead of collecting, you actually switch your weight. What do you recommend for people who want to learn tango? I would recommend starting with group classes or private classes. And after you've learned the basics of tango, what's a good way to improve your moves? By going out dancing with the people that you've taken the lessons with, practicing at home, listening to the music, just feeling very comfortable with the music and then going out dancing again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming here for about six years. Why? Because I love tango. And what is it about tango that you love so much? I think it's got great rhythm. I think it's got passion. It's a fun type of dance. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn to tango? A lot of people don't think they can dance until they get out here and try it. I think dancing starts by taking the initiative. Take a class. Do you prefer taking lessons in a studio or going out somewhere like this? I prefer going out and dancing. There's a different energy. It's more social. But there's nothing wrong with taking lessons. I recommend it. Why do you think tango is so popular? You can grow into it. You let your body move to the music and you create a dance with someone. And it's relaxing once you learn it. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn tango? It depends on how you learn. Some people learn best by taking classes. I learn best by watching and listening to the music and then getting brave and trying it a little. You know, learn by doing and practicing. Okay, I'm ready to take the plunge. How do I get started? It's not too difficult. Take this arm behind my back. This one up, and just start walking. That's perfect. <laughs> Try step to the side. Good, and then step back. Now side again. Hey, this is a lot of fun. You should try it. This is Kevin, actually dancing tango, from the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> wow. So... What do you imagine we're going to learn in this unit? We're going to learn how to use correct intonation, rising and falling when describing different things, okay? Today, we're gonna to start off with intonation in questions, okay? So what is intonation? Intonation is like the idea you go up or down, is different, depends. Okay, let's watch the video and see how we can speak more naturally our intonation.
Hi, making the right intonation will help you sound natural when speaking. We want you to notice the intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Okay. No, it's only about making questions with our partner. So in this moment, we're going to get to know our partners. What do you like, you don't like, and we're going to give options. As an example, I have Karen Suleyma, my partner, and I say, Karen, would you rather eat uh, pupusas or hamburgers? I, I prefer eat pupusas. Okay, exactly. Now I continue. Would you rather eat cheese pupusas or beans and cheese pupusas? I prefer cheese pupusas. Oh, wow, Karen. And would you rather eat corn pupusas or rice pupusas? Uh, two. Good. I prefer two. I prefer both. I prefer both. Excellent. It's in the chat how to say it. Very good. Okay. Easy Both. example? Yes, yes. The same. The other Coca Cola, Pepsi, Little Caesars, Domino, Car, Motorcycle, eh, the city, the beach, the different topics. The idea is speaking with options. It's okay or no okay? It's okay, teacher. Yes. It's okay. Yes. Excellent. Give me one example, yeah. Noe. Give me one example. Um... Teacher, uh, do you like Pizza Hut? Or do you prefer um, hamburgers, hamburgers? Okay, again, ask the question again, no, fluency, go. Okay, teacher, uh, do you like uh, Pizza Hut? So, so no. Remember, it's for two. You need to give the options. Do you need to give the two options? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, repeat. Um, yes, repeat. I, okay. Uh, teacher, do you like pizza or do you like um, or, or you prefer hamburgers? Mm, I prefer pizza. Mm -hmm. Because, because, teacher. Continue, no. Así como le hice el ejemplo. Continue. Ah, okay. Este, Claudia Rivas. No, no, a mí, a mí, seguí. Juan... Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Um... The example with Karen, the example with Karen. Remember, pupusas. What kind of pupusa? What cheese of pupusa? Continue the conversation. Go, no. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Uh, I repeat. Uh, teacher, do you like a, a big sahat or you prefer hamburgers? No. Ah, ok. We begin. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I do I prefer pizza or hamburgers? Uh huh. I prefer pizza. Ah, okay, teacher. Uh, be, because I prefer pizza. What no, did you do? No. Let's try. Let's try another. Puedo partner. intentarlo. Okay, Demole Emerson. Okay, go ahead, what? Emerson. Teacher, what do you prefer? Pizza Hut or pizza Little Caesar? Uh -huh. I prefer. Little Caesars. Oh, do you prefer why teacher? Why teacher? No, no why. No why in Ada. It's option. Do, you, do uh -huh. you prefer pepperoni or only cheese? Ah, I prefer pepperoni. Oh uh, how do you say masa delgada? Ah <laughs> thin crust. Thin crust. 
Mm -hmm. Or pan crust. What do you prefer, thin crust or pan crust? Mm, I prefer thin crust. Me gusta más delgada. Yeah. Is okay? It's correct. Eso es. No why. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es la gramática? Estamos practicando. Ah, options. Giving the, the choices. Like broadcasting or e Remember, the choices or, 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 or. The, this is why. Mm, no explanation. In this moment, only practice options. It's okay or one more example? Okay, teacher. It's okay, okay teacher. Okay. okay, good, good. All right, let's practice with our partners. We're going to make some examples. Remember, the idea is options. Give the partner options. All of the options. What's happening, teacher? I don't know. Maybe the internet. Let me try one more. Let me try one more. Cesar, you have some problems? What? You didn't connect to the group, Cesar. Let me try no. a different group. Let's no. try a different group. Okay. Let's see, would you rather cold water or hot water? Or not, not hot water, maybe, um, how do you say water temperature? Water. Would you rather cold water or Temperatura ambiente, agua de temperatura ambiente. Okay. But yeah. Claudia, would you rather yeah. what? Take a shower, drink? You need an activity. Would you rather? Okay. okay. Drink. Drink. Would you rather drink cold water? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, okay. Would you rather drink cold water or room temperature water? Room temper temperature. Okay. okay. I I prefer to drink cool water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Claudia? Yeah. Um, would you rather rather drink um your water in a cup? Or in a glass. Okay, good. And continue. Remember, continue it. There you go. Uh, I would. I would. You prefer. I would prefer. You. I would. Mm -hmm. I will prefer <clears throat> fish. Um, mariscos. How do you say mariscos in English? I say milk. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mel, creo que es teacher. Seafood. Seafood. Excellent, Karen. Seafood. 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 Fish or seafood. I, okay. pref I prefer. Serious. Uh, romantic. Romantic. Oh. Yes. Gossip. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, would you rather and um, I don't know, 
and play basketball or play soccer? Play soccer. Better for yeah. me. Yes. Yeah. You are one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> you are one of mine. Okay. And the cup, the cup, the champion. Yes, mm -hmm. it's true. He's, he's, he's playing very good for me. <laughs> what what do you prefer? Um, Alianza Football Club or Santa Tecla Football Club? All Thai, uh, all, all, um, Alianza. I prefer Alianza. Okay. <laughs> Go. What do you prefer? Uh, orange or or bananas? Which do you prefer? Chicken? Mm -hmm. Beef or beef? Okay. No entendí. <laughs> no se te escucha, Neida. <laughs> Apagar la cámara, tal vez te, te ayuda. Apagar la cámara. Mm -hmm. Morena, mm -hmm. what do you prefer? Beans mm -hmm. or rice? Um, I prefer both. <laughs> ah, together. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mario. Uh, the question is... Uh, Beans bueno, entre beans. nosotros estamos hablando de deportes. Beans. Quizá oh, la pregunta oh. sería... How oh, do you sports. like uh, the swimming or bicycle? Um, I I prefer swimming. Swimming, right? Yeah. Every, everybody, <laughs> every people. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I um, like it. Uh, is uh, mm -hmm. a swimming is practice. You practice uh, uh -huh. every day or the the weekend. Um. Oh, or uh, I I practice swimming. Uh, hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. We are practice. I listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, would you um, ask me? Other question? Okay. Yeah. Um, Raquel, uh, what kind of meat do you prefer tacos? Uh, excuse me, can you repeat? Uh, what kind of meat do you prefer tacos? Um, um, no, I did. Thank you, Edith. Don't worry, Raquel. Tener que dar las opciones, Edith. La idea de intonación es hay cambio de intonación cuando das opciones. Si solo decís, what kind of meat do you prefer? Solo hay una intonación. Pero si hay dos opciones, una sube, ¿cuál es la primera? Y la segunda baja. Por eso es que la gramática hoy es a pronunciar correctamente opciones. Por ejemplo, Edith, do you prefer a chicken or beef? Do you prefer pork or chicken? And this is the option. One up and one down. Mm -hmm. but, but you can say, for example, uh, would you rather eat hamburgers or pizza? Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah, Hamburger right. up and pizza down. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, do you prefer chicken or, or meat? Correct. Hi, Carla. I know I'm okay. Hi, Hello, Emerson. Hi, Emerson. Okay, Hi. everybody, we're okay. Any questions? No, sorry, Carla, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. 
Okay. Now we're going to practice the difference. We have two options. Would rather and would prefer. The two are similar, but they have different grammar. I would rather, I would prefer. I would rather activity. Example, I would rather drink Pepsi. I would prefer Pepsi. Prefer, no activity. Prefer, noun. Rather, activity. It's okay? One more try, teacher. Of yes, course. Please, of teacher. course. Okay. I would rather activity. Example, I would rather eat pizza. Prefer, no activity. I would prefer pizza, the noun. So prefer is what? Rather is activity. It's okay, Emerson? Yes. Excellent. I got it. Great. Now let's watch a little bit more information. Would rather and would prefer. In this moment is 3.3 in the platform, would rather and would prefer. Nice to have you back. In this section, you will learn how to use would rather and would prefer. Both are used for choices. Stay around, play the audio program, and try to identify the difference between those two. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. I'd rather not join a choir. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. I will begin with this explanation telling you the would rather and would prefer mean the same thing. As we already told you, but we want to be emphatic, both are used with choices. In case you didn't identify the difference between those two, we will explain it now so you see there's a slight difference in their structure. Would rather plus not plus base form of verb. I'd rather learn English than German. I'd rather not study at night. Would prefer plus not plus infinitive. I'd prefer to learn English. I'd prefer not to study on weekends. Note. Both are followed by not in the negative form. And just in case you're wondering how to answer in short form, this is how. I'd rather or I'd rather not. And if you're using prefer, this is how to answer properly. I'd prefer to, I'd prefer not to. Ready to make choices? Would you? Okay, let's look here. Here we see I'd rather and I'd prefer. If you want to use activity in prefer, you need infinitive. If no infinitive, only the noun, only the object, okay? So I would prefer pollo campero. I would prefer to eat at pollo campero. I'd rather the activity, I'd rather Go to Pollo Campero. Mm -hmm. It's okay, the difference? Yes, teacher. Yes? It's okay. It's okay. okay. Good. So in this moment, we are going to talk about different foods. We're going to talk about uh, ideas or things that you prefer. Okay. So remember, rather, when do we use rather? Activity. Activity. Okay, 
good and prefer? Only now. No activity? Yes, you can use for uh, for only the nouns, right? Okay. Study is activity. Yes, study is an activity. So you can say, I would rather study. Okay. Or, okay. Mm -hmm. or I prefer to study. Rather, I would rather study or I would, I would prefer to study. Correct. If you want to use the action, that is correct. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I would rather to run in the morning. No. I pre remember, remember, prefer to. I prefer, prefer to run to. in the morning. Oh, I would rather okay. run in the morning. I would rather run in the morning. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No. Okay. So with our partners, we have a link in the chat. The link in the chat is to help us with asking question with rather. Look, we have two links. It's okay, the two links you can open. Yes, teacher. Okay, then Emerson, ask me one question from the link. Ask me one question. Uh, yeah, any question? Number four. Mm -hmm. Would you rather live by the ocean or by the beach? Hmm. I would rather live. Um, I would rather live by the beach. But let me see. I would rather live by the beach. I think it's the same by the ocean or by the beach. Is the first link, Emerson? Yes. Next. Yeah, and then that's it. Only you ask your partner. Ah, okay. Would you? And then the idea is to help you create the conversation. Really? Would you rather live in El Tunco or San Blas? In El Puerto, La Unión. La Unión. Depend the partner. I continue the conversation. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Or one more example. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. okay. It's good, teacher. It's good. Okay. Remember the question only to start the conversation, but you need to think and create more questions to continue the conversation. They're only to start. No question, 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 no question. And you need to prepare the next to create and continue the conversation. One moment, let's make a few more groups. Okay. Jose, what happened? Cesar, Jose, you okay?
Nice to have you back. In this section, you will learn how to use would rather and would prefer. Both are used for choices. Stay around, play the audio program, and try to identify the difference between those two. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. I'd rather not join a choir. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. I will begin with this explanation telling you the would rather and would prefer mean the same thing. As we already told you, but we want to be emphatic, both are used with choices. In case you didn't identify the difference between those two, we will explain it now so you see there's a slight difference in their structure. Would rather plus not plus base form of verb. I rather learn English than German. I'd rather not study at night. Would prefer plus not plus infinitive. I'd prefer to learn English. I'd prefer not to study on weekends. Note, both are followed by not in the negative form. And just in case you're wondering how to answer in short form, this is how. I'd rather or I'd rather not. And if you're using prefer, this is how to answer properly. I'd prefer to. I'd prefer not to. Ready to make choices? Would you rather take online classes or in-person classes? Would you prefer to study at night or in the morning? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. It's okay the difference would rather and would prefer. Más o menos, teacher. Más o menos, más o menos. Okay, Emerson. Puedo Let's... hablar en español. Go ahead, Emerson. It's okay. Lo que pasa es que, bueno, en mi parte yo le entiendo la gramática que cuando es prefer se ocupa el infinitivo to. Okay. Y cuando es rather no se ocupa el infinitivo tú, pero no logro identificar cuándo sale el writer y cuándo el prefer. Lo mismo. No importa. No, lo mismo. Ah, ok, entonces la gramática es la, la diferencia. Sí. Ah, ok. Ah, pues es ok, teacher. <risa> There you go, Emerson. I like it. Ok. Any other questions? Um, it's a good idea to use uh, rather when I, when someone have to make a question. It's okay. For example, would you rather? Okay. But no, would you prefer? It's normally, the normal is, would you rather? Activity. Would you rather go to the beach? Okay. Or the mountains? And is normal, do you prefer, would you prefer also? Is the two, the two would rather would prefer is very common to use. No problem. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? We have a question. Yes. If someone uh, asks me something, with rather, I have to answer with rather too, or I can 
answer with prefer. You can answer with prefer. It's not necessarily exactly the same. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Is no problem. You can change and say rather or prefer whatever you like. It's more easy prefer, teacher. Depend, yes. For some people, <laughs> it's easier one or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now that is a good idea, we're going to practice the grammar in writing. Now that we practice the grammar in speaking, in 3.4, we're going to practice the grammar using the verbs here to complete. We're going to use the correct form. Is to or not to? Look, some words prefer, some words rather. How do we use the verb? Okay, 3.4. And 3.5, we are going to do together. So we are going to do 3.5, listening together. But in this moment, for the four conversations, five minutes, no five minutes, only four minutes because it's only the word. Only four minutes for you and your partners to complete and then we check. Yes? Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Yes. Jose, you okay?
Okay, let's try number one. To take. Mm -hmm. Continue. To register. To register. Okay, to register. Mm -hmm. The next. Learn. Uh, learn. Learn. Good. To study. Time. Mm -hmm. How? 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 Okay. Yes, I'm going to Here. Higher. 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 Okay. And another one. Join. 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 Okay. Sim. And the, the last one is sim. Okay, pretty good. I like it. I like that we understand the grammar. Exactly. All of those are correct. Remember, with prefer, we can use infinitives. With rather, no infinitive. Only the verb in the base form. It's okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Now we're going to listen to three people talking. And we want to answer what course did Linda, Rich, and Gwen take? Listen and select what is the topic, what is the course that they take. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. Two, Rich. So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learn more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay, what was number one? African dance. African and dance and samba. Good. And number two? Vegetarian, vegetarian cooking. cooking. Okay, vegetarian cooking. And number three? How, How to run a small business. Small business. Yeah. Hey, super easy. All of those are correct. Very good. Excellent. Now, before we continue, do we have any questions on this grammar? Would rather or would prefer? Solo una cosa, Tille. Abrí de nuevo el chat y no me aparecieron los links. Sí los puede volver a poner para practicar. Let me put. Thank you. 
in the chat from here. One moment. Yes, yes. Okay. And there. There are the two links for you to practice if you want to practice more to answer question with would rather and would prefer. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay. Well, if no questions, we are going to finish today in 3.5. Tomorrow we continue with unit three. And then I hope you have a nice night. Okay. Right. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for connecting. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you, guys. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Good night.